Okay, lads, so this is video one of our bedside lamp uh, tutorial. So this lamp here is what we're going to make. Um, if we slide down the document here, we should get our table of content. So it's made up of one, two, three, four, five different parts. So we have a lamp base, a lamp neck, a lamp head, a bulb, connection piece, and at the end, we should have some working drawings put in here. And I will have all the video links in here for you as well when you get it. So, to start off, we're going to open up our SolidWorks and we're going to begin with the lamp base. So, open up SolidWorks and we're going to start. And new part here. So, we're in our workspace here. Click over to the document. So, step one is to go to the top plane and to look straight in at it. So normal to the plane. So over to our SolidWorks, top plane, and we're looking straight in the top plane. Step two is to click on sketch menu, select circle, and draw a circle of any dimension from the origin. So we're going to this origin here, and we're going to draw a circle of any dimension. So going for a sketch, clicking on circle, going to our origin, which is um, where these two arrows meet just here. One click here and drag our circle out and click again and that's our circle run. Step three, click on smart dimension and dimension the circle so that the diameter is 140 millimeters. Okay, so the diameter has to be 140 millimeters. Back over to our SolidWorks, go to smart dimension and this is 133.46 at the moment. But we want it to be 140. So that circle now has a diameter of 140. Go over here to this green tick when we're finished and green tick that. Step four, click on features and select extrude boss base. Extrude the shape by 15 millimeters and click green tick once that's complete. So back to SolidWorks, and we're going features, extrude boss base. And we're extruding up here by 15 millimeters. So that's making that 2D shape now into a 3D shape. Green tick, and we see now we have a cylinder shape. Back for document. Next one, step five. Click on features and select fill it. Fill the edge of the cylinder with a radius of 7.5 millimeters. Click the green tick once it's complete. So we're filling it in the sides here. So back to SolidWorks, going to Features, going to Fill it, and we're filling this edge here. So preview comes up here in yellow, so that's what it will look like if it was filled at 10 millimeters, but we want it to be filled at 7.5. Hit the Enter button so we can see that the radius so now it's gone a bit smaller. Green tick once that's finished. And we have this shape here. So we can see that I'm rotating my shape around like this. To do that, the scroller, I hold down the scroller and I move the mouse. I can also choose to look at the view by looking at the spacebar. So hit the spacebar and I can decide which view I want to look at this base at. So I'm going to look at here. Step six, click on sketch and select the top surface of the cylinder to sketch on. Right click on the top surface and select normal 2 to look straight onto the surface. So what we want to do here is we're going to sketch in onto this top surface here. To do that, hit the space bar and look straight down onto the surface. Go over to sketch, click on sketch, and now it's asking me what surface I want to sketch on. So I want to sketch on this surface here. And we see our origin of that for appearing now as well. So sketch a circle with a diameter of 20 millimeters at the origin. Use the smart dimension tool to dimension the circle. So like we did before, we're going to draw on our circle. I'm going to draw a smart dimension. And we're dimensioning that 20. Green pick once we're finished. Back to our document. 
8, click on Features and select Extrude Cut. So we've already extruded, this time we're extrude cutting, so we're cutting into the shape. Cut the cylinder, um, cut into the cylinder 10 millimeters, take the green tape once we're ready. So we have our shape here, a circle drawn onto it. We're going to Features, we're going to Extrude Cut, and we're cutting into the shape 10 millimeters. this and green tape. So we've cut now into our shape by 10 millimeters. So step nine, click on sketch and select the front plane. So we want to sketch on the front plane here. So sketch and go over to this here, click down and we're sketching on the front plane. You can also go normal to that, looking straight in at it, like that. Sketch this shape on some planes. We can zoom in here now. And we're sketching this circle here onto our planes. So the circle, the center point of the circle is right above the origin. So the origin's here, it's right above it. It's 3.5 mil above it, and the diameter of the circle is 5. So go into our circle, go into my origin and just moving up. So we see that there's a dotted line there that shows me that I'm straight above the origin. So I want to keep that dotted line and I want to draw a circle here. Now smart to mention it, zoom in here. I want from the origin to the center of that circle to be 3.5 millimeters. I also want that circle to be diameter of 5. So take the circle here, and at the moment it's 9.54. I want it to be 5. There it is. Green tape when we're finished mentioning. Next, I want to hold down the control button on my keyboard. I want to click on the origin and on the circle, and I want them to be vertical. And that's going to turn this shape uh, back here, which means it's fully defined. Green tape and that Click on features and select extrude cut and cut the circle up to the next. Okay, so what we want to do here is to click onto our features so we can see that the circle is bang in the middle of our shape. It was on our front plane, so it's drawn on the front plane. We'll go to features, we'll go to extrude cut, and we're cutting out in this direction. Now, how far do we cut out in that direction? We want to cut it until we get to this surface here. Now, I can put in dimension and just cut it out like this. Or else I can choose up to next in this menu. And that's going to go just up to this next surface. Click. So we've cut it out all the way through there. our document. Step 12. Click on sketch and select the top surface of the cylinder to sketch on. Right click on the top surface and select normal 2 to look straight into the surface. So again, this time we're going to sketch and we want to sketch on this top surface. So click that one. That's the one I want to sketch on. Sketch and sketch on onto that surface. Hit my spacebar and look straight in at that surface that I want to draw on. Step 13, we want to draw this shape on our surface using the center rectangle feature. So to get the center rectangle, I'm in my sketch, I go to the rectangle here, I go to the drop down menu, and you'll find in this drop down menu, center rectangle. I'm going to my origin and go on right across my origin, make sure I see that blue line, and then draw on a center rectangle. So the center point of that rectangle is in line with the origin. That's very important. Now, from the center point of the rectangle to the origin is 35 mil. So, smart to mention, center point the origin. Perfect. 
this dimension here is 15 and the height here is 30. 15, 15. And 30. Okay, green tick once we're finished dimensioning. And the last thing I want to do is hit my control button again. I want to go to the origin, click on the origin, and I want to go to the center point. Click on the center point. Last time we want them to be vertical. We don't want that this time. We want these guys to be horizontal. And that fully defines our shape now and a green tick. Basically, a sketch, and we want to go down here to extrude that rectangle by two millimeters. So, features, extrude boss base, and we see it's coming out of our shape now by 100 millimeters at the moment. I want it to be just two. So, nice and simple. Okay, very good. Next step. Fill it the top edges of the rectangle one millimeter radius okay so we've already seen our fillet tool back here we're filling it this time we want to fill it this rectangle that we made extrude out of this by one millimeter so put it fill and we are picking the edges we want to extrude so it's going to be this edge here, this edge here, this edge here, and this edge here. Now, the yellow line shows a preview of what it would look like if the radius of that fillet was 7.5 millimeters, but we just want it to be one. So it's going to look like this. Perfect. So next step, step 16. Click on features, so features bar again, and select reference geometry, then select plane. So we'll just do that first. So features reference geometry to me. And that brings up this menu here. So first reference, second, third. The first reference will be right plane, and the distance will be 35 millimeters. Um, first reference is going to be our right plane, so click here, drop down menu, and picking it out our right plane. And the distance that the plane is going to move away from that right plane is 35 millimeters. Okay, so this plane now is going moving away from our pink one, the blue one, and we can make it move away by a certain distance. We want that certain distance to be 35. So we see that is bang in the middle of our rectangle here. You might have the case that your plane is going over in this direction. You can always flip the offset. So it's not 35 in the other direction. Oops, sorry, I'm not pressing something there. Yeah, so we can flip it in either direction by pressing this button here. So, click. And that now is called plane one. So we have our plane one here. We can make that plane bigger than like this. If we want that. So that now is plane one. So what we're going to do with that. So we're going to sketch this shape onto the plane. Okay, so it's a kind of triangular shape, right angle triangle. So from here to point on the triangle, it's going to be three. From here to the triangle, it's going to be three. And the overall height is going to be seven. So to do that, here our spacebar, we want to look at it like this. We're going to click on sketch, and we want to sketch onto our new plane, which is plane one. I'm going to draw a line, zoom in here, and I'm just going to draw my triangle. What do I do? Mark dimensions. Click on this edge here, 
Pistachio. And we said that that wants to be free. From this edge here to this point here is going to be true as well. And the overall height then is going to be seven. The shape will turn black like that, and that means it's fully defined, so green tick. Back to our steps here. Uh, click on features and extrude boss base. Extrude the sketch in both directions by 3.5 mil. So this time now, go to features, extrude boss base. And we see that our shape wants to come out in this direction. By 2 mil, we want it to be 3.5. But it also says that it has to be in both directions. So I can go direction 2. I want in this direction to be 3.5 so. We can pick once that's done. And there we have the on off switch of the map. Step 19 select edit appearances and give the base of the lamp a color and texture. Save the lamp in your home folder. So here we have it, we're going to right click on plane here and we're just going to hide that plane so it's out of sight. We're going to go over here to edit appearances, double click on appearances and we can go through what we want our base of the lamp to look like. So I want my base of the lamp to be blue. So I'm going to go to solid and I'm going to drag blue over to it and I'm going to turn the whole body blue. I can also decide to make it metal. So I can make any of these colors here. So there's all different types of textures and different types of materials. So choose your own material and your own texture. Now the most important part is that you go up and you press save as and that you save it into your home folder. Save it under lamp base. In your home folder so that you can access that part again later. Okay, so that is step one. Um, part one, even the base of the lamp. Uh, in the next part, we will be in the next part of the, uh, the video, we will be making the lamp. Okay, so part two is the lamp. Back.